Yo, what is good, Knicks fans? Coming at you with another video. Want to talk Knicks? So let's talk Knicks. I want to get into my three bold predictions for the Knicks um, season, New York Knicks season, and three bold predictions for the NBA season. I want to talk a little bit of Donovan Mitchell and this trade that's annoying the hell out of everybody and me, especially. Um, my three bold predictions for the M Knicks NBA season. First, RJ is going to be an All Star this year, a reserve. I believe. With efficiency and the defense that he can play this year, I think RJ can be an all-star this year. He averaged 20 points on last year. Finally broke the 20-point mark and aver averaging 20 points last year. And not great efficiency. So I think if he's efficient next year in everything he does, offense, defense, decision-making, if he's efficient, he will be an all-star next year, no doubt about it. He will be our all-star, and then at the, when that happens, he will definitely solidify himself as the face of this franchise. So I think he will be an all-star next year. Then uh, bold prediction number two, Mitchell Robinson, if he plays six, 60 to 70 games this year with the defense we know he can play, then, yeah, he's going to be our defensive player of the year. I think he will be a defensive player of the year next year. As long as he's consistently playing on the court, and we get to the to the uh, point where we 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 know we can go, which brings us to my third prediction. I think we will be a top five team. I think we're gonna surprise a lot of people this year, especially uh, um, with our point guard play. Because we, last year, how many fucking pick and rolls did we actually play? I think. With Rose and Jalen Brunson, I'm talking about the team we are, we have now. With Rose and Jalen Brunson, we will be a top five team because we did not have good point guard play last year. How many pick and rolls we 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 ran last year? If we if we had Rose last year, we went in five games. We had two great point guards starting off the bench with Jalen Brunson and Anna Rose. We we winning how many games? Ten, let's say ten games, ten more games. Boom, there you go. And that, and we can be in that top six um, in our conference. So I think we could be a top five, top six um, a team in our conference. And I think that's not as bold of a prediction as all uh, all star R J Barrett or defensive player of the year Mitchell Robinson. But I think how many people are doubt, doubting us of being a top six team and we're going to be in the play-in. That's what people a lot of people are thinking. So I think we can be a top six team in, this, in, in our conference. So that's how my third bold prediction, even though it's a lesser bold prediction than the other two. My NBA bold prediction, I think okay, it's going to be MVP, is going to be, be uh, best team record-wise, and it's going to be a dark horse team. Let me just thought out there, I think my dark horse team is going to be the Knicks. Knicks can surprise a lot of teams, and if they if they continue on this path, I think they could be uh, really underrated, and we're going to surprise a lot of teams, so I think we could be a top uh, five team, like I said, so dark horse team, boom. Uh, I was I thought another dark horse team, because I think as many teams that's gotten better this year. I think uh, uh, a Pelicans can be a dark horse team this year, especially if they get Zion back. I think they could be a top five team in in their conference. Um, MVP, I think, is out of two people, but I'm going to pick one after I've named both of them, Luka and Tatum. Now I pick, I'm going to pick Tatum as the MVP because I think uh, – Boston, after going to the finals next year, I think they're going to be hungry to to try to go back next year. And I think Tatum, after not showing up in the last three games, yeah, he's going to be even hungry to like demolish a lot of teams this year. So I think he's going to be uh, 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 best, uh, most improved player, uh, most improved player, most valuable player next year. I think the best team next year may be uh, the Dallas Mavericks. They got way better offensively. And I, although they took a hit with Jalen Brunson, they can replace his production in a way. I think they got offense and defense now. They got longer with um, with uh, uh, McGee and and Christian Wood, so I think they can pl 
especially I think the, the only person they, they need to adjust they need to adjust to is Christian Wood but I think with Lucas skills of making his team better I think that's going to be a good adjustment it's going to be a better adjustment so I think yes uh, they're going to be the best team record wise now let me just get a little bit into Donovan Mitchell I think it's so annoying with this whole Donovan Mitchell thing that at this point I'm like who cares bro I mean I fucked with Donovan Mitchell I think we need a star um but I don't think Donovan Mitchell is the star we need if we, like I keep saying I'm gonna keep saying it before the uh, the Jalen Brunson signing if we wanted to go to Donovan Mitchell hell yeah but since we got Donovan um, since we got Jalen Brunson I do not want Donovan Mitchell I think it's gonna make us weaker uh, right now, we have offense and defense. If we got ISO game in Do in Jalen Brunson, if if these two can get better ISO ISO games, uh, Randall and RJ, if they can get better, which I I'm predicting they are gonna get better with the ISO game. Um, I think this team has dimensions offensively and defensively, especially with throwing on throwing in Hardenstein, because he can actually uh be a scoring big man that we need. I think this team can be really, really good next year because we could be a two-way team that the best two-way teams are the teams that win championships, right? But I'm not saying we're going to win a championship. I'm just saying that we can compete next year with the team that we have because we're going to have a leader in J Jalen Brunson that can actually fucking lead uh, by example other than um, than Randall. Randall is not a, a, a leader at this point. Um... But Jalen Brunson will be that leader that we need. Uh, he shoots 50% from the floor, bro. Yeah. We need we need that. Uh, you know how many people is going to be scared of him getting open shots in the mid-range to three-point shots, whatever. He's going to be a beast. Uh, but the pick and roll game between him and Rose is going to be psycho. Um, yeah, uh, I think this team as it's constructed right now is set up to be a two-way team. Um, team offense and defense and if we can bring everything together and if uh Randu takes that back seat that back seat to Jalen Brunson to RJ Barrett to be that third guy to play play within the team I think this team can, to, can go all the way not all the way to this championship but go really far get a a, a, a playoff uh, a series win I think we could be a top uh, six, top five team in our conference. Uh, I think we can do this, bro. It's all depending if we can be consistent offensively and defensively. And if one person, namely uh, Donovan, uh, Donovan Mitchell, if, namely uh, uh, Randall, if he can, if he can buy into what we want the team to look like, which is. Jalen Brunson have the ball a lot, while RJ uh, uh, gets the ball secondary, and then you get the ball when when all else fail, fails, and when one of them is off the floor, you get the ball uh, secondary to whoever. If you can do that, then that's when we're gonna win way more games than we play, because I don't think your your decision making is all that great to be the main ball handler of one or two ball handler. So I think we need. We need to rely more on Jalen Brunson and RJ because they're actually great uh, uh, decision makers. Uh, Jalen Brunson more than RJ, but RJ is showing us continuously, showing us how much of a great uh, decision maker he's he's become. Um, yeah, and then with all the improvements that everybody's been making and is going to continue to make, no doubt about it. I think that this team has all the possi all the all the uh, potential to be a top five team in our conference. Uh, I don't care what competition is there. I think if we bring everything together, we can be that even more, even better if everything comes together. Um, but like I said, defense. And if Donovan Mitchell is here, he throws a wrench to that, that defense that I'm talking about. Offensively, yes, we will be good. But how good are we gonna be offensively to the point where we don't we don't need to focus on defense, right? Like fuck that. We need defense as much as we need offense. And I think 
They think it's gonna save us ne to next year. The thing that's gonna save us next year is defense. We got us that fourth spot at defense, and we got way better offensively this year. So I uh, just think there's a lot of reasons why I don't. I feel like Donovan Mitchell don't need to be that guy right now. I love Donovan Mitchell's game offensively, but right now he throws a wrench into the Knicks' defensive prowess that we have right now. We're going to have right now. Um. Yeah, uh, New York. A rap legend, Fat Joe, want Donovan Mitchell to join the Knicks is the uh, article. Uh, the people want Donovan Mitchell to be a Nick. Yes, people want Don. I, I kind of want him to be a Nick, but then I don't want him to be a Nick because we have defense on his team because we need a star. I want a star, and Donovan Mitchell has the star prowess that we need that's going to bring other stars to want to play with the, with the Knicks. Yes, but... He's not the right star right now. I think, yes, I want him to be a, a, a Nick at some point, but just not right now. I don't think he he needs to be the uh, uh, Nick right now. But he's been uh, touring uh, New York, like, for the last two months. Like, he's going to be a Nick and everything. Like, uh, I don't know. If we can throw in six picks, seven picks, and not have to give up a quickly, a OB, a, 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 a Quinn Grimes, then yeah, I'm all for it. We're gonna take a hit because we're gonna have to trade a Randall, but that's fine. If we only could uh, give up Fournier, Cam, and and uh, let's say McBride, and then have to give up a Randall, that's fine with me. Or uh, in a separate trade, give up Randall, that's fine with me because I think we can make a lot of things up defensively. We could just. Uh, uh, Sign a couple defenders that can help us out, but I don't know. It's hard to, because I think in a random trade we would have to get back a, a get going to say, say Charlotte get get back a Gordon Hayward, so that fixes the small po fo small forward problem that we that we're gonna have if we do a Donovan Mitchell trade and not give up anybody else, just uh, Cam and Fournier and a and a McBride. But small forward is going to be a spot of, uh, that we're going to have to uh, uh, fix with a random trade. Get a, a Haywood back. That fixes that problem, but then you have a problem a power forward and shooting guard at, off the bench. Actually, not shooting guard off the bench because I think quickly, yeah, he's the shooting guard. So it's just power forward off the bench. And defense, OB don't have all that. I mean, I want him to take that jump defensively this year, but he don't have all the best defensive prowess or potential well I mean he has the defensive potential but he doesn't have the defense right now to give us what we need in that lineup with Donovan and Brunson in that lineup so it's a lot of things just well all, although if we keep uh, uh, Quentin Grimes and Rose and quickly that's going to be our three off the bench and Quentin Grimes will have to play small forward he'll be a shorter small forward although he got defense then you got then it's only the small uh, power forward, and then Gordon Hayward will have to fill in that power forward spot. I don't know if he got the defensive spot. See, there's a lot of things that Donovan Mitchell brings uh, 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 problems with, but that will be an offensively better team than we have now. That will definitely make us a top five team in offense, but defense, where's, where's the defense going to come from? Although we're going to have good big men to help us, but I don't know. It's a lot of problems, a lot of problems with the Donovan Mitchell trade. And a lot of people saying just get him now and then figure it out later. I don't know if that that's a good thing to do. Right, those are my thoughts. I want to know y'all's. I, I want y'all to check it out, like and subscribe. But I want y'all to comment and tell me what y'all think because I want to hear y'all thoughts. Check y'all later.